Welcome to the Daily GW Drupal training video series. These videos are designed to help you manage and maintain your GW Drupal site on a day-to-day -day basis. More information about GW Drupal can be found on the online strategy website where additional learning resources are available. Today we'll walk through the steps of creating and managing your hero banner using the hero content type. Heroes are meant to serve as the header banner alongside the local brand. They come in several sizes and layouts and can be used to promote news, events, services, and initiatives, or they can serve to visually represent your office, department, or organization. Here on the President's GW Drupal site, we see the large rotating hero layout. This includes a local brand to the left, identifying the website owner, and a series of heroes that cycle through on the right. The larger rotating hero can support up to eight slides. You also have the option of only having one hero banner display alone without any rotation. That layout is known as the static large hero. Here on the GW Today website, we see an example of the medium rotating hero. It is slightly smaller in height than the large rotator and can support up to five slides. As with the large rotating hero, you also have the option to only display a single hero banner without rotation, also known as the medium static hero. You also have the option of a full width hero banner with the local brand beneath the photos or graphic as seen here on the Center for Second Service website. In this layout, the hero and local brand are designed as a single image file. The hero imagery can be comprised of a single photo, a collage of photos, and possibly even a graphic depending on your needs. Bear in mind that in this layout, the image is static meaning there is no auto rotation. We also offer a medium full width static hero and local brand, also a single image file, which, like the rotator, is smaller in height than the larger version. In this example, I will be adding a third image to the rotating hero on the home page. To create a hero in GW Drupal, access the content type in one of the following ways. In the upper right hand corner, hover your cursor over this arrow, and then select Add Content and from the content types list, select Hero. Alternatively, you can go up to My Workbench and then hover over Create Content and then select Hero from the flyout options. Wherever you see a red asterisk in GW Drupal, that's indicating that completion of a field is required. Be sure to select the appropriate size and layout option for your hero in the subtype drop-down. Selecting the wrong subtype can cause your image to appear skewed or not appear at all. I'm going to add a new hero to my homepage rotator, so I'm selecting Rotating Large. Be sure to give your hero a friendly public-facing title as it may be displayed to your users. You also want to be sure that the title is unique enough that you won't be confused if you have similar content on your site and you need to find it again. For instance, if you create a hero banner, a promotion, and an event all using the same title, it can cause maintenance issues later on. Use the uploader to add your hero image. You can search on your computer's hard drive to locate a file by selecting Upload Directly Here. Alternatively, you can click on File Browser, which will open a new window. This window also gives you the option to search your computer hard drive and upload the desired image to your website server, or you can search through images that have already been uploaded to the server. I'm going to use one of the placeholder images that have already been uploaded to the server and click Insert. After you upload an image, two new fields will display. The required alternative text field should describe what is included in the uploaded image. For users who employ screen readers, this field is read aloud to them. The optional title field can provide the same information. This field enables a tooltip pop-up when users hover their mouse over the image. Under Hero Link, use the Link URL field to indicate what page or website users should be sent to when they click on the hero title. The title you've given your hero will serve as the text link.
If you've elected to use the large full width hero, you can also include a call to action link, which will create a large blue button in the lower right corner of your hero banner. The call to action title field will serve as the text link. If you've opted to use the static or rotating hero, be sure to select the appropriate brand image to pair it with. Use the Drupal node reference to search for your local brand image. Be sure to give your hero a site placement value of home. This will ensure that all subpages will inherit the hero appropriately. Giving the hero a site placement value of a subsection on your website will cause it to only display on that section. The optional scheduling fields can be used to specify a day and time for your hero to publish or unpublish. You can leave the meta tags panel and authoring panels as is and go on to publishing options. Change the moderation state to publish if you're ready for your hero to be published live to your end users. If you still need to make some edits, select draft as your moderation state. If you feel the content is ready but it needs to have another person look it over, select needs review as the moderation state. Then click save. Now that I've created my hero, I have to tell Drupal that I want it in my homepage rotator. To do so, I'll need to add it to the content set that's controlling my homepage rotator. Under My Workbench, I'm going to click on All Recent Content. I already have my list filtered by content set, and I can see that the hero set is at the top of my list, so I'm going to edit this content set. In the on-site content area, I can see the local brand and heroes currently displayed in my homepage rotator. I'm going to use the Drupal node reference here again to add my new hero to the content set. The content set already has a site placement value of home, so I can leave it as is. So I'll just go down to my publishing options and change my moderation state from draft to published. Then click save. Now when I navigate back to my home page, I can see that my hero has been added to the rotating set of heroes. To add a small, medium, or large static hero to your website, follow these same steps and select the appropriate site placement value. Refer to the Hero Content Type Reference Guide on the Online Strategy website for a full list of hero variations and image sizes.